I developed a simple application in VBScript. I saved it and I put a shortcut on my desktop and when I open it, it says, what do you want to calculate? Do you want to calculate for a loan, what your mortgage payment is, or what you have, what happens when you deposit a certain amount? Or when you want a certain amount of savings after a certain number of years, how much do I have to deposit each month? Or if you only have a certain budget, how much money can you loan? I'm going to say L for a loan. It asks you what is your annual percentage rate for that period. Number of years, I, I put it at 30. Which amount do you want to borrow? 60,000 and it says your monthly payments for 30 years are $322.09. How did we develop that application? You write the VB script code in a very simple program like Notepad. In your startup situation, Notepad or all programs. And then you declare a series of variables. You don't have to really declare them because VBScript is a simple version of VBA. The more you know about VBA, the easier it is to do VBScript. But it does not have variables of a specific type. They are not typed. They are always of the variant type. So they can hold anything you want, even arrays. So I call them v lowercase v and then a word. So v message is take your pick. Do you want L for loan, D for etc, etc, etc. Then vb pick is an input box and use that v message. By default I used L for loan. And in case the user types a lowercase, I make sure that it's U cased, uppercase. Then I ask what is your percentage rate for an input box. By default, 5%, which is kind of high nowadays. Another input box, the number of years. Let's say by default, 30. And then I'm going to say, what was your pick? Select case V pick. Case L, if it were a loan. Then I ask, what is the loan you want to borrow, the amount to borrow, let's say 60,000 by default. And then I give the answer, the monthly payments for that number of years is formatted as currency. Loan, V loan, we know what V loan is, but you probably wonder what is loan. Well, that is a function I created in this script. It's right here. Function loan in the same script. So I can call it later on there. That function has one argument. What is the loan you want to borrow? Then we calculate the rate. That is the annual percentage rate divided by 12 per month, plus 1. So if it were 0.05, it would be 1.05 to the power of the number of years times the number of months per year, 12. So then I use the formula. The inside loan times V rate divided by V rate minus 1 times V annual percentage rate divided by 12. If you want to know more about that math, I refer you to financial calculations. And then I return through loan whatever came out of that calculation. So now I use that function here. And I say give me that function that had one argument, fee loan return that amount and format it as currency. Then case D. 
If I deposit a certain amount, how much money will I have after a certain number of years at a fixed annual percentage rate? So I ask what is the deposit amount? Let's say by default $500 a month. And I return in a message box the compounded amount after that number of years is, and there we go again. I use that fee deposit, but this time I use the function monthly that I programmed here. The function monthly says I need one argument. What is the deposit you give me? Apparently V deposit here. And then I loop for I equals 1, 2, the number of years times 12, that's the number of months. The V interim amount is the amount I had already, times 1 plus the annual percentage rate divided by 12, plus the inside deposit, that is a compounded amount. And then I return through monthly the V interim amount, and that's what we did on this line. The next one. A more complicated one. If you want a certain amount of savings how m after a number of years, how much money do you want have do you have to deposit? What is your goal? Let's say after 30 years or whatever, I want one hundred thousand dollars as a nest egg. So I'm going to do a do loop. Do loop. So I'm going to try. I do a try deposit plus five dollars each time and I'm going to do that until I reach that goal. So I try my goal by using the monthly function again that we discussed already, we used it here too, based on the try deposit and I keep doing that until adding five dollars ends up in the right section. Loop while and that is a little complicated maybe because in this simple language VB script everything is a variant so if I want to do use a comparison operator I have to convert it or cast it into a specific type of variable with the C convert fun functions C long, C single, C double, I use C currency. So if the C currency of try goal is still less than the goal I want to reach, then I keep looping. That, that is a little problem with VB script, that you have to really cast that variant into a specific type of value, otherwise this will be an endless loop. Don't forget. And then finally I can tell you for your goal of a certain amount of money you must deposit per month the try deposit amount. Then I do one more. Say you have a budget and you want to know how much money can you borrow if you are willing and able to deposit a certain amount of money. So what is your monthly budget? Let's say I can only afford $100. How much money can I borrow? So I do a do loop again. I try again. Try a loan plus five. It starts at zero in the first loop. So it starts at $5, $10, $15 until I reach my monthly budget. Try it. How much can I gain. So loan, that is that function again that I discussed already before we used it here too. That is a function down the screen. And don't forget to cast again or to convert that variant into currency. Currency means that it only uses four decimals for the pennies. Otherwise you could have used C double that would work as fine as well as this. And then finally I mentioned what came out of the loop. That loan you can gain. I do a case else in case someone typed a wrong character there. Then I say sorry you 
I could not do anything for you. Don't forget and select. And this is the entire code. So it is a script that is basically very simple, but it does miracles for you. It uses two internal functions, homemade, made for this occasion, and it does a great job. What is the secret now is that you save this file. I saved it already, so I'm going to do save as. And you want to make sure that you are going to save it as all files. Don't save it as a text file, but at all files. And then you call it .vbs, vbscript. If you don't do that, it will never run. This file can run on any Windows machine. You don't even need Access or Excel with the VBA version. It will run on any Windows screen. That's what I did. I saved it. I made a shortcut to it. And there is my shortcut. So this time I'm going to do this time I'm going to do savings. Let's say at a 5% fixed annual percentage rate for 30 years. I want to save $100,000 as a nest egg. So I have to deposit every month $125. Do it one more time. This time I'm going to say I can only afford certain payments. How much money can I borrow? At a 5% rate for 30 years or whatever you want to say. My budget is $100 a month. So I can borrow $18,630. This is an example of a very smoothly running code. It's great because you can just make a shortcut on your desktop or whatever you want to do. You probably want to know much more about this. So I developed for you a CD-ROM that gives you much more information on VBScript, what it can do for you. Look at this great selection of items. And all of this is possible thanks to that CD-ROM. It has an enormous amount of slides, and you can find all of this at MrExcel.com or GenesisPC.com. It's a great tool to create your own VB script code. It's a lightweight language with a fast interpreter for a wide variety of environments. Good luck!